Good afternoon. My name is Andres Franco and I will be conducting the Columbus Symphony Orchestra this weekend. And we will be playing some very nice pieces for you that I wanted to introduce. The program starts with Sense Maya, in which composer Silvestre Revueltas explores the rhythms of language. He used a poem by Cuban poet Nicolas Guillén called Sense Maya, which is a poem on how to kill a snake. But, but the interesting thing is that he actually uses words and lines from the program, from the poem, uh, to create rhythm. So if you listen to a piece, there are no singers, no words, but if you listen to a piece, all those rhythms would be included in the music we will be playing. Now, next up is going to be a piece by Argentinian composer Astor Piazzolla. It's called Milonga del Angel. And then the aspect of rhythm we will be exploring here is actually how rhythm and dance go together. The Milonga is an Argentinian dance rhythm. You will recognize it very, very easily because lots of pieces have that rhythm now. And uh, Milonga del Angel means the angels Milonga. And speaking of angels, the instrument probably most associated with angels would be the harp, which is actually the next piece in the program, also by another Argentinian composer, this time Alberto Ginastera. He will be playing his harp concerto with artist Yolanda Condonasis. Inastera did not want to give you the impression that the harp is the most angelic of instruments. It's actually going to be quite rough, the playing, and very rhythmic, and very earthy. And, uh, but again, lots of dance rhythms from Argentina, uh, in particular the malambo, are going to be featured in the harp concerto. It has three movements, a uh, fast movement, slow lyrical movement, and then a very fast last movement. Also has a very long harp cadenza that is just mesmerizing. So I think you're going to enjoy that one very much. Now we'll get at that point to the intermission and then the second half will also feature a piece for harp and orchestra. This time Debussy's two dances for harp and orchestra. And now to close the program, we are going to hear Copeland's Suite from Appalachian Spring. So again, we explore dance and rhythm in a very different scenario. In Copeland's case, this was a ballet that was written in the 1940s. Uh, it was in the middle of World War II. And you will recognize one more melody. Actually, that's probably the one you will actually be singing after you go to a concert, because it features a very beautiful set of variations on simple gifts, which everyone has learned as a child. So you will hear what Copeland uh, did uh, with simple gifts, just a very, very creative set of variations. It starts uh, with the clarinet, and then it goes to different wind instruments, the strings get a chance to play simple gifts. And uh, it's just a, a beautiful uh, piece. Actually, one of my favorite pieces ever. And so is the Milonga del Angel, and so is Sense Maya and the Harp Concerto. So, you know, it's basically a program of favorites. So I really hope you enjoy the concert. You will hear very different pieces in the concert, but all of them are worth listening on their own. So I really invite you, I hope to see you here this weekend. The concert will be Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. at the Southern Theater. And if you want more information, you can go to columbussymphony.com. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.